According to reports last week by Yahoo Sports and the Washington Post, MLB fans may be able to place bets from their seats as early as the 2021 MLB season, allowing fans to make live bets on MLB games taking place right in front of their eyes. This is the report that I am referring to by Yahoo Sports' Mike Oz, and it states some interesting points here. Pulling out some things, as I mentioned before, the Washington Nationals have announced that it has a deal with BetMGM, its official gaming partner, to start down a path to see MLB fans placing bets from their seats by opening day this season. Here is the Washington Nationals official statement regarding the sportsbook. The Bet MGM Sportsbook at Nationals Park is tentatively scheduled to open this summer with betting windows, electronic betting kiosks, food and drink. Plans have yet to be finalized, but the sportsbook will be open year-round and occupy the former center field social space at the corner of North Street and Half Street Southeast, located to the right of and just outside the center field gate. The BetMGM app, which under DC law may only be used to place bets inside and within the immediate vicinity of the stadium, could launch by opening day 2021. This report goes on to state that MLB baseball and gambling has a very long history, and many people remember the whole Pete Rose scandal that occurred where Pete Rose basically got banned because he was placing bets on his own team. Now, the issue with that is that Pete Rose was a manager. Major League Baseball's code of conduct still prohibits players and coaches from gambling, and that's, again, what got Pete Rose in trouble, the MLB's code of conduct, because Pete Rose was a manager of an MLB club. Well, Major League Baseball, as of lately, there's been a push to embrace betting, and even more so as states begin to legalize sports betting in their states. The league has partnered with daily fantasy sites for years now. There's two vastly different things. The Nationals deal with BetMGM will allow fans to bet on what happens during a game as it's happening in front of them. There's a few things which make this circumstance a little bit special. This is going to be the first sports book within an actual physical MLB stadium, and it's going to have a physical location. So as opposed to placing bets on fantasy sites, which is all online and none of that has a physical location, this sports book will have an actual building within the stadium. You'll be able to interact, place bets, and then go back to your seat and watch the likelihood of your bets take place right in front of your eyes. It gives a physical location to betting within an MLB stadium where some fans are underage. They can't place bets. Some fans are under the age of 21. Some fans are under the age of 18. Now, the Nationals say that they're going to be extremely careful with rolling out their in-stadium gambling procedure. They told the Washington Post this statement in verbatim. Here we go. This partnership is going to bring new ways to engage with the game of baseball and really sports in general. For all of our fans, said Jake Burns, the Nationals Executive Vice President of Business Operations, told the Washington Post, We're going to be extremely careful with how we roll this out. We have a lot of fans who aren't of legal age, or simply just don't want to bet. But our goal is to give every fan the option to have the best experience that they can while they're at the ballpark. What makes this situation so special, what makes this particular occurrence in this sports book um unique is that it's giving betting it's giving you know placing bets it's giving gambling a face is what this is doing it's giving gambling a building it's giving gambling a look for young fans it's going to be putting a a, a face to gambling and you know whether or not their parents are gamblers or, or place bets is another thing but at the bottom line this building is going to be in an mlb stadium where quite a large number of fans are not of legal age so why am i making this video and why am i bringing this you know this topic up there's a few reasons why one this 
particular instance is very important to the history of baseball and the history of how the game is played and how fans interact and view the games as well as enjoy Major League Baseball. You know, if fans are placing bets, there's a lot more money involved than just buying a ticket now for an MLB game. So it changes the fan experience quite a bit to have somewhere where you can bet inside of a stadium. Another reason why I'm bringing this up is because this sports book gives a face to betting. It does. To add on to that, an extension of that would be it gives a face to betting for younger audiences. It gives a face to betting not only for parents, but also for the children that are brought into the stadium. You know, they've already stated that there's going to be kiosks. And although I realize that younger fans and underage fans will not be able to legally bet on the game, it gives them a face. It gives them a sense of, you know, imagination. It gives them a sense of reality to be able to conjure up, this is what betting looks like, this is what daddy, this is what mommy does. And that is a little bit concerning for, you know, future generations, because now when you go to who an MLB game, it's not just a, a ticket sale that you're getting, it could be an additional cost to you because you're wanting to place a bet. Now, for me personally, Obviously, I'm sure as, as you're getting the gist throughout this video, I don't, I don't agree with this. I don't particularly agree with this. I'm fine with with partnerships, and I realize that you know fantasy sports and all that has been around for a very long time. But the difference is that you know that that's taking place in an online realm, and a lot of the times that's taking place behind the closed doors and behind the 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 real life and imagination of a child. You know, they don't really understand the concept of placing money, you know, into some kind of betting that's occurring completely digitally. And now they're giving a physical location to where you can then place those bets. You know, you're giving an environment, you're giving this context, you're giving an atmosphere for where betting takes place. I'm hoping that this makes sense. I think that this might be taking too much of a step. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be successful. You know, there's. There's people that really love to bet and place bets and gamble. You know, if I'm attending a game, I'm sure as hell not gambling on the game itself. I'm already paying for a ticket and I'm paying to be there and I paid for the gas money to drive out to the stadium. And the last thing I need to do is place another or lose another $25 to $50 on some kind of bet that I placed. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I have a question for you down in the comments. And my question is this, and I'm going to post it up here on the video as well. Should betting be taking place in MLB stadiums, especially where there's a heavy presence of minors? That's going to do it. If you enjoyed this video and you've been enjoying the content, leave a like on this video, subscribe down below, and turn post notifications on so you all are updated on the latest MLB offseason news. Go ahead and give me a follow over on my socials, both on Twitter and Instagram at Tabor Time Gaming. I'm following the latest MLB arbitration deals, trades, signings, all that's over on my socials, so go give me some love over there. And until the next video, it's Tabor Time out. Peace.